Pope Francis has elevated 20 churchmen to the rank of cardinal, including some from Asia and Africa. This comes a month after Pope's visit to Canada where he hinted at the possibility of retiring. The ceremony at St. Peter's Basilica is the Pope's eighth since being elected in 2013. The 85-year-old pontiff has now named 83 of the 132 cardinals who are currently young enough to join a conclave where cardinals cast paper ballots to elect a new head of the Catholic Church. The appointment of new cardinals has formally expanded those eligible to vote for the successor of Pope Francis, as all cardinals aged under 80 can vote in a conclave. Archbishop Anthony Pula of India is among the new cardinals. He is the first member of India's scheduled caste community to become a cardinal. is the confidence and trust of our Holy Father that uh, from the lower section, maybe like, uh, you know, untouchable, they say, uh, he wanted to elevate one as a cardinal so that we will be a voice, not only for the peripheries, marginalized and Dalits, but we have the responsibility to take into consideration all the needs of our Telugu church. The new cardinals also include churchmen from Singapore, East Timor, South Korea and the United States. So, la diversité de la de la chiesa in una maniera che sera più nel collegio cardinalizzato dopo dopo questo consistorio e, e penso che veramente la, la visione anche di, di Papa Francesco di avere una chiesa universale della diversità e tra la diversità delle chiese locali. In recent months Pope Francis has been forced to rely on a wheelchair due to knee pain. He also suffers from sciatica, a chronic nerve condition that causes pain in his hip. During his return from Canada nearly a month ago, the Pope said that he needed to slow down and one day possibly retire. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.